What's going on, everybody? Brett Pro Angel bringing you today another deck profile. We're here with Jacob. What are you on, man? Uh, Ultra Guys. Nice. How you feel about it? Uh, I mean, I really like the deck. Um, I guess it's definitely not like the best in the meta, but I mean, I think it's fun and it definitely can win games. Yeah, guys always creeps up into the meta, man. <laughs> it's always it's always unexpected. Yeah, it's one of those decks like if you don't know how to play against it, you're really gonna struggle, kind of regardless of what you're on. I think. Heck yeah, man. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the profile. All right. Uh, so for the actual, like, Geist Monsters, I'm playing the three Milseek, uh, th two Siliquitas, three Multifaker, uh, three Marionetter, and the one Conkiri. Um, I feel like this monster lineup is honestly about as, like, standard as it gets for this deck. No changes, really? No, not at all. And I think that's, uh, I think it's correct as well. Absolutely. Um, Seems balanced. On top of that, I'm playing three, uh, Droll in the main. Um, again, with this format, I just think Droll is really good. Although tonight, I definitely should have main boarded Ash over it. <laughs> but it's oh well. Still a good card. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, then I'm also main boarding one Alpha. Um, one thing this deck really struggles with is going second. And I've just found that, like, the game twos where you open the Alpha, um, I'm sorry, the game ones where you go second and you have the Alpha in the main deck and you open it, you can just break those boards a lot easier. Very easily. It's really good against dragons too. Oh, absolutely. It's like four stat seal. <laughs> <laughs> um, only three spells, uh, just the three extra. Half. Um, a lot of lists play duality and some number, but I just don't think you really need it. I feel like I can go through my deck quickly enough and find whatever I need without it. That's fair. I mean, that's good logic. Um, for like the Geist traps, um, Guys, Trap and Spirit, uh, personal spoofing at three, uh, two protocol, and then one manifestation. See the spoof, you don't lose. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so before this, I was always playing manifestation at two, and just for this weekend, I kind of decided to try it at one. And I will say, I think I definitely did miss the second copy. I just, I really like just having it, and. Whenever you don't have the Siliquitas to like return the protocol itself, I like being able to actually use the manifestation, get protocol back, and then still have another manifestation live just to go off with. The interaction with Silk and Manifestation is actually really broken. Oh, you mean uh, call the Hunter the Siliquitas back and just bounce this and just do it over and over again? Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Somebody did that to me. I'm like, does it work like that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the non guys traps, I'm playing two punishment. Which some lists or most lists I don't really see playing it, but I think I mean it's just like Alpha. I think pr or punishment is super good for like breaking boards. Absolutely. Um, which this deck needs all the help it can get with. Not to mention you don't really need your extra deck. It's just a bonus. Exactly. Like three slots for Entus just doesn't. It means nothing. Um, also playing three Ice Dragons Prison. <sighs> this deck does not out Dragoon. MVP of the format though out so many things. Yeah. It's just, like, specifically for me, Dragoon is, like, the biggest thing I want to hit with this thing because, like, you, you know, you just struggle so much against it. Uh, that's actually another reason to play Alpha as well. That's fair. Um, three Torrents, which, again, it's just really good. Like, Torrent and Strike can, I think, pretty much break almost any board that you can see this format. Uh, yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I guess I haven't come across a board that I haven't broken like that yet. <laughs> Facts. Uh, three Imperm as well. Uh, three Strike, and then one Order. Man, I'd love to see it. Ooh, let me get a close-up on that Order. It's PSV. PSV and first set. beautiful. Anything you would change about the Trap lineup? Um, at least for how I have these, probably not. The only real change is, like I said, just, uh, Manifestation of two. Adding in the second one? Yeah. You think it's like like a mandatory thing? Got to have a second one, or I think you can absolutely play without it. Um, I don't know. I just kind of like the stability of like having the second copy, just just to like you know use the banish effect to add something back. That makes a lot of sense. On top of that, like it's never a bad card. I think even seeing two copies in hand as well, you can always shuffle it back off spoofing. You can always do whatever. Like having two manifestation in hand is not that bad. I don't think. Sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, it's good to test both, you know? Oh, absolutely. Perfecting the deck. 
Uh, the extra deck. I'm playing three Entus. Mm. You send the gold rare first? You know, if I don't banish it off extra, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three Hextia. Mm -hmm. Three Link Rebo and the one Amirage. Uh, the one anima comes up it comes up it really does <laughs> and then one phoenix uh one selene one boral sword and one boral nice anything you would change about this uh i mean these four in particular like it's flex spots maybe yeah like these really can just kind of flex for what you expect to see I really like the other 11, though. I like maxing out on... Or I guess, like, in particular, everything besides Anima, I like maxing out on these spots just because I play Extravagance um, and not Prosperity. Uh, no. I mean, honestly, as far as, like, the Altergeist Links, I think Hexia is really the only one you need. Like, no other Altergeist Link has come up in my games. That's true. I just had to ask. Yeah. But, seems pretty balanced. Sounds about right. I mean, you don't really need your extra deck too often, so I mean... No. Plus like, Punishment's a real card. <laughs> I mean, like, in the... However long it's been, I've been playing this deck, like, you know, however many years, like... I don't know. Like, these, like, uh, those, like, bottom flex spots, I don't really make those all that often. Like, it's only ever, like, Link Karibo or Hexia or uh, the, like, sending Entis off the Punishment. Theoretically, it could come up. It could, yeah. But. <laughs> it could. <laughs> it would come up if you didn't have them. <laughs> yes. Um, so for the sideboard, I'm playing the three Ash Blossom. Um, just because I wasn't mainboarding them, I thought I still needed them, so just sideboard all three. Mm -hmm. uh, second copy of Alpha. Um, a Feather Duster. Call by the Grave. Three Cosmic Cyclone. Three evenly match and three solemn judgment. I really like this. That sideboard actually seems really balanced, especially for you know what alter is. Uh, is there anything you would change about the sideboard at all? Probably just add an anti spell fragrance. I Ooh. honestly just kind of uh, I kind of forgot the card existed, and then by the time I was out of my house, I didn't have any on me. So that's a blowout. We card. ran two without it. Two anti spell plus order. That's blow out oh yeah well yeah because like uh things like harpy's feather duster um lightning storm anything i just can clear out an entire back row can really just screw you over absolutely um and then another thing that some people will forget is anti-spell as well when they have to set the card it doesn't just go until the end of the turn it's set it goes until their next turn so if they set something like say twin twister or cosmic cyclone Ooh. they actually can't activate it on your uh, next turn after they set it. They have to wait until their turn that, comes back around. That's actually a specific that's really important to know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Set Cosmic Pass, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, add Anti-Spell, but that's really about the only thing I would change here. Nice. Yeah, man. Um, definitely thanks for the profile. Um, is there any further changes that you didn't mention that you would make? Uh, nothing I can think of on the top of my head, really. Gotcha. Yeah, the Drolls, you know, I feel like, you know, pretty solid in the main board. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's just, Could it's one anything. of those things you kind of have to, like, look at your local metaphor to kind of decide, like, what hand traps you should be playing and what you shouldn't. It's dependent on the format, too, really. Oh, yeah, 100%. But, yeah, man. Uh, any last words you would like to say? Uh, nope. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks for the profile. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.